Hi everyone, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Once again, this is Jendrox Educator TV and welcome back to AP Science Virtual Class. Are you guys ready? Alright, let's go. For today's video, we are going to talk about the physical quantities and their units. And you will also learn about the different basic measuring equipment for physical quantities. For this way, you will learn how to measure, how to solve problems, and of course, conversion factors in each of the physical quantities. Precisely, you will learn how to measure certain objects using a roller, we have a metal stick, right? and any other measuring instrument. Here are some few questions that I would like to ask you. Do you know your body weight? Do you know how tall are you? How many centimeters is your height? Have you checked your body temperature today? How many grams do you think these chemicals inside the container? What time is it? Okay, so what will you do? If you would like to respond the correct answer, so probably you are going to look at your watch and read the number of minutes or the number of hours. If some of you guys are not sure how tall, how many kilograms, what's the reading temperature of your body, so of course we need to use measuring instrument to find out the exact or approximate physical quantities of that particular object, right? And of course, we learn how to use units. By the way, how can we define physical quantity? What is meant by the word physical? And what about quantity? Physical quantity. Physical quantity is anything that can be measured. How long? How far? How tall? How heavy it is? Right? So those are things that we need to find out the quantities of a certain object with regards to measurement by using different measuring equipment. Right? How hot or cold is your body? So we need what we call thermometer. Is that right? So that's the way how are we going to do something in order to find out the exact or approximate record or measurement. So what are those physical quantities? All right? So when we talk about physical means object. All right? What about the quantity? Means number, which something that can be counted or it could be measured. One of the best example of a physical quantity is length, all right? It is a physical quantity which can be measured with an instrument such as metal stick. We have a ruler, tape measure. Aside from length, we also have time, measuring about mass, temperature, and electric current. So these are all the following physical quantities that we are going to focus on. Learning physical quantities are very important and useful in our daily life, not only at school, but also at home or it could be in your own job we learn few basic skills in measuring counting and also problem solving or mathematical computation we learn how to convert those units into other units physical quantities are measured in SI units or international system of measurement unit so what do you mean by SI unit is a unit plays an important role when it comes to measuring the physical quantities it is because 
SI or International Standard Units are very useful and helpful to indicate the correct units all over the world. Now, I'm going to show you the following tables that gives the physical unit or the physical quantities including the SI unit or International System Units and what are those instrument used to measure them. So, in column 1, there are physical quantities including symbol. In column 2, we have SI unit including symbol. And in column 3, we have measuring instrument. What are we going to measure? So, these are length, mass, time, temperature, and electric current. Remember guys that there are instances that we used higher or larger units and somewhat smaller units. But there is what we call standard unit of measurement. What do you think will be the SI unit of length? So remember the word matter, matter. And what about the measuring instrument that we're going to use in measuring the length? We will use metric rule or meter stick, or it could be tape measure. Aside from matter, what other units that we could apply by measuring the length? Let us remember guys that we can use also smaller units like for example millimeters, millimeters, centimeters, centimeters. We also have inches, inches, meter, kilometers. It could be miles. So these are all important, okay? application unit when it comes to measuring length next quantity that we are going to learn is mass how heavy is it how many grams or kilograms this object is right so remember guys that we applied the unit of kilogram by measuring how many kilograms how many grams how many milligrams okay so from larger to smaller units so we could adapt that one also when it comes to measuring mass now how are we going to measure the mass what are those measuring instrument to use by measuring heavy or light objects and of course we need a measuring instrument to measure the quantity of mass all right so you might ask how many kilogram how many grams how many pounds these are the following instruments that we need to use for measuring the quantity of mass these measuring instruments are lever beam balance compression balance weighing scale and other weighing equipment now let's move to another physical quantity that is what we call time we learn how time important in our daily life we learn already basic skills on how to measure the time according to number of hours number of minutes number of seconds or microseconds what do you think will be the standard unit that we are going to use to check and measuring the time? Of course, we use the smallest one which is number of seconds. What are those important units that we need to remember when it comes to measuring time? So number one, we should learn about hours. Number two, number of minutes. Number three, number of seconds and what are those conversion factors that we need to apply what do you think will be the measuring equipment in measuring time so basically we need watch right we also need stopwatch in some various activities 
And of course, we need clock. This time, we learn how checking of temperature important to each and everyone, right? Every time when we enter at the mall, somebody would check your body temperature. Some people would ask, what is your room temperature? Why it's so hot? Why is it cold? What do you think will be the standard unit and symbol of temperature? We often hear the word number of degrees Celsius, right? But actually, we use the standard one which is Kelvin. What do you think will be the measuring equipment when it comes to checking the number of body temperature, room temperature, or weather temperature? Okay, of course, we need to have thermometer. So, what is that thermometer for? What are the uses? Why is it important? Another important physical quantity is this what we call by checking the electric current. How do they measure the number of electric current? So, what is the common unit? How do they measure how much are you going to pay? How many kilowatt hour have you consumed in one day, in a week? or in every month right so this time we learn about what is the basic unit of measurement that we use by electric current so there is what we call a unit of ampere ampere and what is the basic measuring instrument that they attach when it comes to checking and recording your electricity consumption okay so these are what we call ammeter electric meter reading now let's talk about few basic measuring conversion factor when it comes to length how long or how far for example how many meters are there in one kilometer i'll repeat how many meters are there in one kilometer all right so we use a meter stick which is this is exactly one meter so actually in one kilometer there are 1000 meters in one kilometer there are 1000 meters say so for example how many meters are there in five kilometer so your answer is 5,000 meters in centimeter how many centimeters are there in one meter one meter stick so just look at these numbers here right so there is what we call the unit of centimeters so in one meter it is equivalent to 100 centimeters once again, how many centimeters are there in one meter? That is equivalent to 100 centimeters. For example, how many centimeters are there in 10 meters? All right, so of course you could answer that one, 1,000 centimeters. In one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. All right? See for example, how many millimeters are there in 5 centimeters? There are 50 millimeters. This time, we refer to the unit of inches, number of inches. So, how many inches are there in one ruler or one foot all right so this is exactly 12 inches right so in 12 inches how many centimeters in 12 inches okay in this one foot ruler how many centimeters it is equivalent to 30 centimeters all 
Alright guys, this is the end of our topic for today. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't forget to answer your quizzes and assignments at the Google Classroom in the AP website. Thank you so much and good luck.